Hi, my name is Jolyn Linder, and I grew up in church, going to church because I basically went with my mom and dad and my family. And I found myself in my early adult years, uh, right after college. I pretty much um, was not going to church and living my life for me. Back in 2002, a girlfriend and a co-worker of mine, Amy, introduced me to North Point Ministries. And at the time I was going with her and off and on when friends and family would come in town, I'd also take them to hear Andy speak and still living my life um, about me. Lately have found myself um, still struggling through all the struggles that I had um, in my college days, young adulthood, and um, really found myself on my knees and praying and turning my life over to the Lord. I just got tired of, like I said, living my life for me, not, not God's will. And it was all about me. You know, and it's recently, I mean, I've known this, but recently, you know, found that it's, you know, it's really God's will and God's way, and I'm not living my life for Him like I truly want. Several months ago, um, after some events that had happened in my life, and really turning my life over to the Lord, and knowing that He was the one that had got me through this. When I moved back from Atlanta, I knew that I needed to be in church and change the way that I was living. And needed to find a home. And I discovered that North Point um, had a satellite church here and started attending Rock Point regularly, actually bringing friends as well. Well, coming back to, to Rock Point, I knew what I was missing was um, my closeness and uh, being involved in church and being part of the family. Um, I was straying away and that was part of the reason why I was finding that my life was so scattered and that um, what I've learned is that it's not about me and my will, it's about God's will and God's direction. And so I've turned my life over to Him. I'd like to thank my dad, my mom, and my family, my girlfriend Amy, and for being there supporting me and showing me that I am a child of God. And today, I would like to publicly profess that Jesus Christ is my Lord and Savior. Wow. Um, it's, it's a true privilege to be able to stand here and uh, to be able to celebrate Jolene about the decision that she has made and the choice that she's made. Um, but as well, I want you to know and share with each of you that this is really a celebration and what your background might be. Uh, whether you're watching baptism and you feel like maybe it's something that you have to act a certain way or whatever, I want you to know that it's okay, especially if you're a friend and family, and even if you're not, let's do it anyway, to really hoop and holler and applaud for her and let her know how excited that you are of this decision that she's made and following through with this. And Jillian, just to hear that story of you turning your life to Christ and realizing that's what you needed, um, that's what really this is all about. And that's actually why we're here and why we do this every Sunday. And so to hear that, just blows me away. So it, it is my privilege and my honor to baptize you today because of the profession of your faith in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit.